One university is going all in on AI. The Ohio State University says all students will be required to use artificial intelligence, and it's launching an AI fluency initiative this fall with the hopes that students will be bilingual, fluent in both their major field of study and in the application of AI in that area. The question now is, is this going to be the new norm? Pew Research reports that in 2024, teens report using artificial intelligence twice as much as they did the year before. But when are they using it? Well, over half say they think it's okay to use AI for research. Nearly 30% say it's acceptable to use AI for math problems. And less than 20% say it's okay to use AI to write an essay. Joining us now is the Ohio State University Provost and Executive Vice President, Ravi Bellamkanda. Uh, thank you for your time on this. I mean, I feel like we're building the plane as we fly it when it comes to AI a little bit, but what is the appropriate application of AI in the college classroom, do you believe? No, thank you for your interest. Indeed, we've been using all sorts of tools to augment learning, augment our understanding of the world. And there's no question that we live in a data-rich world now, from politics to news to manufacturing to medicine to all these uh, fields of study and interest for our students and business. We have lots and lots of data. And the power of AI is to synthesize that data and make meaning out of it, find patterns, and do it in a way that's friendly for us as humans to interface with it. And so we want our students to be fluent in AI in the service of the things that our students care about, whether it's medicine or law or business or political science or literature, uh, we really think that we would be doing a disservice to our students if we didn't employ the most powerful tools available in the service of the things that we care about. And, and we want our students to lead and we believe AI fluency along with domain expertise in the things that they study already is critical for their future and for our country's future. Yeah, uh, so I hear you, you're leaning into it. You already know they're using it and we just shared some data on that. So, you know, why fight what's already happening? Um, allow them to use it. But I'm wondering what this program looks like specifically. What does AI fluency mean? And is it something they'll be graded on? So that's the thing. So the idea is that those you ask a really important question. So you could ask yourself, what does an exam look like in a world where AI is allowed to be used? And I'm reminded, uh, you know, when I was in school about open book exams and closed book exams. And I was always afraid of the open book exams because they were harder. And similarly with AI, we really want to build intuition, judgment, and ethical understanding, like you alluded to. When is it appropriate? When is it not appropriate? When is it hallucinating? When is it not? And we feel like having that conversation in the classroom with a professor in the context of the subject they're learning is really important for us. And that's the approach we are taking. We're trying to embed AI uh, thinking, AI tools, in the classroom, not a separate, many universities are thinking about AI majors and AI minors and more computer scientists. What we're saying is profoundly different. We're saying that let's use AI tools in the context of the subject and let us have that conversation about what it means to pursue uh, the, the, the subjects we're teaching with the power of AI helping. So you're taking the, the thinking out of it or letting AI do some of the thinking. The question immediately becomes, and I know high schools are dealing with this as well, but when does it become cheating or that kids aren't thinking for themselves and how do you police or balance that? That's right. So we had the same fears, if you remember, when we had calculators and we were afraid that, you know, people would store formulas in there and not really understand. That's the challenge we have as educators now, is to still make sure that our students have a deep understanding of the subject and they're not just letting AI do all the thinking, as you're saying. On the contrary, what I think is going to happen, and we have some examples of this already, is that the level of work that the students are expected to and that they're producing is actually higher, just as it was when we had computers and we were able to produce more, do it more quickly, and have it spell check us and produce better quality work. I think that's the goal, is to produce higher, deeper learning 
with the assistance of this tool. And we have a challenge as educators to make sure that that happens, that students are not just borrowing something without understanding what it is. But that's a conversation we want to lead and have at Ohio State. That's what we're trying to do. Thank you for watching. Subscribe below and download our News Nation app right now on your phone, and you will get fact-based, unbiased news for all Americans.